At this time tomorrow There's something you need to know I got used to see You as a friend But deep inside There's something else I know Life Over 60 again. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're new, welcome. I talk about everything that we are concerned about when we become over 50, over 60, and beyond. Today I want to talk about oils, all types of oils. Oils for your face, your hair, your eyebrows, um, oils that we use in aromatherapy. Oils mean an awful lot to me. I have been interested in oils ever since the 50s when I used to look at my mother's dresser, the top of her dresser where she kept all of her beauty things, and she always had a bottle of lanolin. Now, in the 50s, lanolin was at its highest use ever. Now, lanolin isn't exactly an oil. It's a sebaceous or uh, wax that comes from the sebaceous glands of domestic sheep, but it really is very good for the skin. And somehow when they processed and bottled it, it became a liquid form. So I always was so, watched my mother put this lanolin on her face before she put any kind of powder or makeup on her face. And actually in her 90s, my mother still had beautiful skin, so maybe there was something to lanolin. Anyway, I was always very interested in skin care after watching my mother take care of her skin so well. Today, we are very, very lucky because we have all different types of oils that we can use that help us. They help us with our skin, with our hair, and that includes your eyelashes and eyebrows. Uh, oils can help us in aromatherapy, help us feel relaxed, more calm, and change our mood. And it really has been proven, they have done tests, especially with aromatherapy, that when we humans are exposed to different aromas, they relax us. Lavender, eucalyptus, tea tree oil, citrus uh, aromas, they all have an effect on us to calm us and relax us. So I am very much in love with oils. I'm in love with oils for my skin, oils for my body, oils for my hair, and oils that help me relax. It's amazing that just all of these things can be found in different oils. I have a, a collection of products that include oils. Even I have sunscreen. It's a natural zinc sunscreen. But within that sunscreen, there is lavender oil, carrot seed oil, uh, olive oil, different oils that mix with the zinc that I can put on my face instead of using regular sunscreen. And I'm going to show the product that I can put on as regular sunscreen, but without putting the chemicals in my body. Now the first oil is marula oil. I just happen to have a bottle here. I'm almost out. Marula oil. I am not promoting any particular brand. Uh, this just happens to be a, a brand that, that I use. But marula oil is very good for your skin. It comes from the marula tree, the nuts from the tree, and the oil is either pressed from the shells or the nut itself. But it really is a wonderful moisturizing and plumping of your skin. And I, I just honestly like it. But oils usually add, not only add moisture, they add wonderful qualities to your skin that I enjoy. Sometimes I'll just be around all day without any type of anything on my skin except oils. And I apply them quite often. This is an organic facial serum. It's a national nourishing organic 
plant-based product. Now, I happened to get this when I was visiting my son, and I went to a festival in Franklin. It was like a flea market, and there was a woman there who makes her own botanicals. And in this product are all great kind of oils, organic lavender oil, uh, all uh, infused olive oil with lavender, excuse me, uh, uh, rose hip seed oil, organic sea buckum berry oil, organic oils of geranium, frankincense, chamomile, and rose. And I use this a lot because it has a combination of all different kinds of oils. But oils do hold the moisture in your skin. Some of them, like rose hip, rose hip, you can even take vitamin C that is made from rose hips. But it they protect and heal your skin, and I, I just am crazy about oils. And of course, we have the loxaton oil that I'll put the ingredients below. I use this oil as well, the loxaton oil. And uh, those are the basically the products that I use on my skin. Uh, you can use carrot seed oil, uh, all of the oils that I mentioned, the pr uh, primrose seed oil, the apricot oil, all of these oils are nature-based, and they really are wonderful for your skin. Now, for my hair, I use argan oil. I can massage it into my scalp and leave it on all night or just leave it on for a few hours before I wash my hair, and it really makes it seem healthier and a lot smoother because, as you can see, I have really, really curly hair. So I, I love the argan oil, and you can buy shampoos with argan oil in it, but you just have to look at the label to see how far down the list the argan oil is. And there's something else that you can use for your hair, your eyebrows, and your eyelashes, and that's castor oil. I swear by this product because it can be massaged into your scalp, you can put it on your eyebrows at night before you go to bed. Just massage it in your eyebrows. Take a teeny tiny little bit, rub it in your eyelashes. It makes your eyelashes healthier. They don't break and they seem longer. Now, I don't know whether it actually encourages growth. Some of the studies say that, yes, it's true. Castor oil really encourages growth. But I do know that my lashes and my eyebrows seem thicker and my lashes seem better. It seem longer, but I don't know whether that's because they're healthier and they don't break off or what the results are. But I know that the results are that it really does work. I really love this castor oil. And I know other YouTubers in the beauty community have really extolled the virtues of castor oil. So that's really, really good. I love that an awful lot. Now, for our body, you can use sunflower oil. Now, these products will be mixed with other emollients that help the skin, but the products that are used in them are sunflower oil, sweet almond oil, and Argana Spinoza kernel oil. And I had to look down at that because it's hard to say. <laughs> anyway, there are so many... Um, products and then something else that is good for your hair and I'm sure you have it in your kitchen and that's olive oil. When I uh, had naturally dark blonde and then eventually I was a redhead, a henna redhead, at night sometimes because henna does dry your hair and maybe oh twice a month I would put olive oil in my hair and then I would either wrap saran wrap around it or have a plastic shower cap. And I would sleep with olive oil on my hair. And it was just wonderful that I would get up and I would shampoo it really, really well. And my hair was so shiny and healthy. So if you're not interested in going out and getting some of these products with natural oils in them, you have something right in your kitchen that will help you have beautiful and shiny hair. We can have oils in our lives, natural products that will help keep the moisture in our skin, plump up our skin, heal our skin. I just can't 
tell you how much I really love oils and I really extol all the virtues of oils. Uh, I know rosehip seed oil is absolutely fantastic. As I said, it has the healing qualities of vit uh, the C vitamin in it and it just seems to work wonders on your skin. Now, I also love, and you can see the diffuser that I have back in the back, I love aromatherapy. I enjoy going to sleep at night or during the day if I'm tense to put uh, oils in my diffuser and just lie with a mask over my eyes and relax for maybe at least only if only 15 minutes. It helps me an awful lot to just unwind and chill because I really am. I admit it. I'm kind of a type A personality. I, I, I start projects and I can't stop until the project is finished. I'm not just like a three-day project girl. <laughs> I have to, when I start, I really want to finish it. So aromatherapy has been proven to relax. If, uh, people who have massages, if they are having mas a massage with aromatherapy connected to it, it seems to be more beneficial for them. And they have proven this. They have done studies. But any type of aromatherapy is wonderful. You have the choices of lavender, which is calming and soothing and relaxing, might help you go to sleep. You have eucalyptus, which helps clear your pathways and helps open up all of your sinus areas and regions. If you have a cold, you know, eucalyptus therapy is absolutely wonderful. We have lemongrass, which is also a very um, light and clean aroma. We have orange. Any, any of the citrus uh, aromas are very, very nice because even if you have cleaning products for your home, the ones that I pick I know have either lavender or citrus attached to them. I really love that citrusy smell. Somehow it's so uplifting. And, you know, maybe some of it is psychological. Uh, we're, you know, they're really not sure whether it's the emotional feeling that we get while we are using aromatherapy, while these sensory messages are going to our brain from our smells. But it really does work a lot. Uh, we have uh, peppermint, which is energizing and very invigorating. And let me see, oh, patchouli. Patchouli, I love patchouli. That's the more of an Indian scent, but I have incense that I sometimes burn. I don't know whether that's so good in the house with the smoke and all, but once in a while, I'll, I'll put on uh, some patchouli incense and let it go through the house, and it's very calming to me, at least. So we can incorporate natural oils in our life by protecting our skin and on our face, on our bodies by using natural oils to enhance and give ourselves healthier hair, eyebrows, eyelashes, all of that. And we also can use natural oils to protect our bodies, to moisturize our body and to heal our body's skin and to keep it um, exfoliating. And then you put on the oils and it really sinks down into your dermis, your first layer of your skin, and it really is a very, very nice feeling. I'm sure many of you already know tons about oils, and if you have any other information, I'd like for you to add it below in the comments because it would be helpful and interesting, interesting to me. Um, I just love oils, and I think that it's a very inexpensive, easy way to incorporate good skin care, good body care, good hair care, the good sensory care of your stress quotient by using aromatherapy. Even if in your if, if even while you're in your bath, you can put lavender and scents in your bath. And it really is so relaxing because the heat and the moisture from the hot water really fills the room with wonderful scents. 
that's my video for today. Sophie is scratching at the door. She's a little late to the game because she's usually in here before I start, but uh, she's asking to get in. So I'm going to close down now and I hope that you will do something really great for yourself today. Be kind to someone, help make their day just a little bit better and share the love that you have. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care, and in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Yeah, I realized I'm in love. Do you feel the same? Your eyes, they can say. Through all these years, I was meant to be something else. We're in love mm -hmm.